All right, guys, welcome. This is the very first episode of Coffee and Coaching. I'm not sure if you've read the sign behind me, spent lots of time, lots of money fabricating this banner that you see behind me. The logo took at least, at least eight weeks to kind of come to a conclusion on which version that I liked and I found this one. So for now, we're gonna just keep rolling with this. This is Coffee and Coaching. If you have been a part of my online fitnessforbackpain.com's newsletter on Fridays, I put out a special private newsletter called Coffee and Coaching. It covers lots of different topics. It's not just back pain. Sometimes it's pain science, the psychology of pain. Sometimes it's amazing uh, recipes. Some are very keto friendly, hint, hint, hint. If you're into keto right now, uh, a lot of them are keto friendly just because who doesn't like fat, fatty cookies, you know, bacon, who doesn't like that stuff? I'll be keto just so I can eat some bacon or more bacon. And then it'll be coaching stuff. I love coaching, I love business, I love entrepreneurship, um, I love uh, helping people, growing people. So we're gonna talk about back pain still, but sometimes we'll throw in a little extra. This is not shot live. Maybe one day we will do a coffee and coaching episode live, but right now we're gonna stick to the pre-recorded because my life is crazy. So today we're gonna to talk about a question, and the question is, what are some great lower back stretches that you can do while you're standing up, okay? So the answer to this, if you've been reading anything that I put out, is there's no stretches. There's no stretches that you can do that are gonna help lower back pain, especially when you're standing. Because if your back is getting tight because you've been standing all day, Stretching it is only gonna piss it off. It's gonna make it mad, okay? You're gonna be activating your stretch receptors and it might feel good for a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe even an hour, but you'll be worse off hours later and the next couple of days. So learn from that. Do not do stretches. If anything, it's a stability issue. If anything, it's a weakness of tissue issue oh tissue issue it's a tissue issue if it's not a tissue issue uh, you need to strengthen your body because it's weak and it's fatigued but i do want to give you something because i think it's very important that you walk away with value okay the value point on this question here is there is something that you should do and that i suggest everybody do i've done it it's been a life changer i used to do it back in the day and it would destroy my back and when I started doing it right, it was a game changer. So, I wanna share it with you. These are your butt cheeks. This is your crack, right? This is your waist here. This is your spine, okay? And your legs and blah, blah, blah. So, the main where air I'm gonna focus on here is here, okay? This is where all your tightness is at. This is where the, this is where the pain train comes and picks you up every day. What we're gonna talk about is extensions, getting some light extensions in. Uh, if you've been sitting at a desk all day for a few hours, four hours, two hours, you get up, your hip flexors are all tight, you've got your backs all tight, your upper backs all rounded over, um, your hamstrings might be tight a little bit. But ultimately what we're gonna talk about is some, getting some light extensions in and how to do it right. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hands, you may or may not see my lower back, I don't know how low this camera is positioned, but what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them so that these fingers here from this point down are is under or below your pant line. So these fingers here are on your butt cheeks. This part of your hand here is on your lower back, that kind of that upper L5S1 type of area. So you're not cupping your butt cheeks like this, you're on the small of your back with the fingers just under the waistline. I'll show you here. So this is the area that we're focusing on. Okay, you've been sitting for four hours, you go to stand up and you're like, oh snap, crackle, pop, I'm all jacked up, take me to the hospital. Um, or we can just do some extensions. So finger, 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 wrist, wrist, finger, 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 finger. This might be a little bit too low, that might be right. So I'm not sure what's going on with your arms, but let's just say these are your arms, they're reaching back, You've got your hand, this is your pant line. So you're kind of on butt cheek here, but the main area is that lumbar spine. And what you're gonna do is two key things. One, contract the abs. So set the, or first set the pelvis. So pelvis is in neutral, good comfortable spot. Once you're in that neutral position, 
set your core. So don't, don't bear down like you're about to get punched. Just brace it. <laughs> Quick breath out will brace it good enough. Pelvis is neutral. Then you're going to squeeze your glutes. Contract your glutes. So now your glutes are tight, your pelvis is neutral, and your abs are on. You're going to take your hands, put them again, fingers on the tops of your butt cheeks. And what you're going to do is you're going to light extension. You're not, you're not doing any of that kind of stuff. You're sitting here like this and you're trying to hinge at that lower back. So what you want to do, just like any other rule, if you're a member of the Fitness for Back Pain private membership where a lot of this coaching takes place more in depth, you want to stay below your pain threshold. You have a pain threshold. So when you're doing this, everything's engaged. You're going to go back and you're not pushing past your threshold. So if you've got facet joint issues, if you've got some inflammation down there, you might just be doing this very light, especially if you have some kind of herniation. This is actually a really good tool to kind of bring some relief to the area, but you're focusing on the extension. So yes, you might be, I guess this is stretching a little bit, but the main focus is, is just getting some extension in that lower back when you've been in flexion for the majority of the day. Okay. What I try to focus a lot on is trying to reverse what you do on a daily basis. So when you're thinking about sitting all day or standing all day, you got to go home or go to the gym and do the opposite for the rest of the day. And that's going to change on a daily basis. If you sit all day, every day, then a lot of your extra time is going to be working your posterior chain or being spending time on your stomach, getting your body into that extension position and just bringing some relief. So that's my secret. That is my secret stretch. If you want to call it a stretch, it's really not a stretch. It's more of just like a movement. Just move, go for a fast paced walk. By the time that five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute walk is over, your body is going to feel better. It's going to be good. If you can create a habit around that every single day, whether you feel good or bad, your body's going to start improving and getting and feeling better. So that's it guys. That is coffee and coaching. Number one, it's only on one question. I've got a patrillion questions over here that I could start rambling off on, but then we'd be here all day. I want to keep them short. I'm excited. I'm excited to get this stuff out to you. I want it to be very laid back, not very much a teaching type of environment, but just kind of being me and you be you, even though I can't see you, but you can just be you behind the camera while you're watching this. And that's it. So I hope you all have an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure you subscribe. There's buttons all around my face right now. Just pick one, pick one of them, and they'll take you to where you got to go. I promise you. I've, I've, I've tested it. If you didn't like this, I'm sorry. Go somewhere else. There's lots of people on YouTube you can go watch. Again, this is William, fitnessforbackpain.com. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this and supporting what we're doing here. Just trying to change the world one back at a time. See you later.